Okay, as many of you already know, in my job I'm lucky enough to travel a lot around the world and uh, I often have a chance to pick up some locks from hardware stores, locksmiths, or department stores. And as I was digging through my box, I found this one down deep near the compost level. And you'll understand why I say compost when we get through discussing all the vulnerabilities of this particular lock. But uh, before I get started, you can see it is a Stay Built, which is a Spanish brand made in Spain. Uh, this one measures like 50 millimeters. Nice and heavy, good machining on the outside, and the shackle surprisingly is, is hardened, so it's pretty good quality there. Let's see where they cut the corners, because at a, you know, $8 or less, uh, they had to cut some corners somewhere. So let's find out where. Uh, if you recall, many of you saw my video on rocking a lock, and when we talk about rocking a lock open, and for those of you who haven't had a chance, basically you take your pick, you can even put it upside down if you like. We're going to put it in there, and we're going to put it at the pin level, and we're just going to rock those pins while we apply a little bit of tension. And if we're lucky, we're going to be able to rock those pins in. Now, of course, the cheaper the lock, the more vulnerable it is. The fewer security pins, and the more access to the keyway, it makes a better chance of being able to do that very quickly. Now, theoretically, with this bidding, it's pretty... It's not a radical bidding, but it's quite a difference in the bidding heights. So really, theoretically, we should be able to do it. So let's find out. And I'm just going to take the pick, I'm just going to shove it all the way in, and then I'll apply a little bit of tension here, and then I'm just going to rock it, and we'll see what happens. And you see, bam, all, very quickly we're open. So that technique does pay off. So rocking is, a, is definitely a way that we can get in here. But that's not the only way. Um, this lock, unfortunately, has a number of weaknesses, but before we exploit all of them, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and just pick it, single pin pick it. See how vulnerable it is to that. Okay, so take the hook. Now there are no security pins in here, so we're just going to apply a little bit of attention, or a little bit of tension, and just see if we can pop these pins in. And I can feel it moving. And it doesn't really take a lot of care with these um, with these rather cheap pins and poor fitting. So we can basically ditch it around, Oop, as long as our tension wrench doesn't give up the ghost. And we should be able to just pretty much force those pins into place. And there we go, we've got single pin picked as well. Well, of course, if you can do that, we can certainly rake it. So let's find out how quickly we can rake a lock like this. And I think you already know the answer. If we can SPP it and rock it, we can certainly rake it in a very quick time. Well, of course, now that I've said that, locks never fail to embarrass you. Well, this one may, may just very well do that to me. Okay, you're just gonna put a little tension, break in and out, and bam, we're open again. Well, there's all those ways to get in. There's got to be one more, and I think you can see what that's going to be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to shim it. And if you look closely at the top, and get it to focus. You can see that uh, it's not bad machine work, but these shims are pretty thin. There's every chance we're going to get in there. So let's find out. I'm just going to take these metal shims. If we can slide it in. Okay, number one is in. Let's see if they were lying to us. Okay, they really do have two halves. Many times I find on these locks they have cutouts on the hasp. Two cutouts, but only one of them actually works. It should have it there. Okay, so it's shimmable as well. So, you get what you pay for. Seven or eight bucks, whatever I paid for this thing. Uh, I really need to start picking these things before I invest my money. So, if you're thinking about locking, locking something up, don't shop near the compost level and don't buy a stay built because you can see in just a couple of minutes we were in that way about five or six different ways. Anyway, thanks for your time. Stay safe and as always, stay legal.